to lose weight in 2024 or any year, right? Like anytime, even if you don't start today, you can start next month, you can start in 2025, you can start whenever, but I'm going to give you 10 realistic ways you can lose weight very effortlessly with ease, with flow, and not make it this high, high level anxiety type of journey. Okay, so again, I'm obsessed with these these leggings. You guys already know that if you um, already follow me. Um, also, all the replays of these go over on my YouTube. It's just Sianna Singh. So number one, okay, number one is waist training. But I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get to that. So I'm gonna skip to number two. But we're gonna dig into to number one. Number two is you need to dig it. You need to immediately go to your kitchen right now. <laughs> right when you get off this live and you need to empty out all the junk food. You already know that, but you need to actually do it. Like you're worried about, you're complaining about wanting to lose weight for the 50th time. You're calling up your friend like, girl, this is going to be my year. This is going to be it. This, I no, this is the one. And then you, you're, nothing's different. Nothing's different, right? Your refrigerator looks the same. Your, uh, the, the stuff you order for food at lunch is, is the same. The stuff you cook is the same. The number one, the number, this is number two on the list, but the number one way to lose weight is just to release the pressure to snack, release the pressure to eat the, the cookies and the Oreos and everything that's in the cupboard. If it's there, you're going to eat it. Like I, the, the, the fitness gurus, the number one top people on the planet that talk about health and fitness, if they had cookies and Oreos and pizza and um, candy and all that stuff just in abundance all over the, the, the living room or the living room, all over the kitchen, they're going to eat it and they wouldn't have the bodies that they had. So like for me on my fitness journey, I'm pretty good. I just want like to lose uh, five more pounds just to tighten up. I don't have junk food at all in my refrigerator. I don't have junk fruit food at all in my, my pantry. Why would I put myself through the torture? Right? So again, also make sure to check out these leggings. You can click and check them out in the cart, but it's like, why would you do that to yourself? Like you're just literally putting yourself through torture and making it harder. And then you're going to complain about not losing the weight again for the 10th year in the row, the fifth year in the row, the seventh year in the row. It's like, just let it be easy for yourself. And don't have any of it. Like, and I guarantee you, I promise you, you will not be triggered by wanting to eat those things. Now, let's just say you cleared out your kitchen and you Oreos are just screaming your name. Like you're just like, I don't even care. I'm going to go drive and get them right now. I don't have them in the cupboard, but I'm going to go drive and get them. Then go get them. And then nine times out of 10, most of the time, if you were going to really get in the car, buckle up, drive, park, walk in the store, get Oreos, go to the, like you are more nine times out of 10. You're like, you know what? Forget it. I'll just wait till tomorrow. Right. And then tomorrow you'll forget. So I don't, I don't do any junk food in the kitchen at all. Cause there's an abundance of junk food out in, um, in the world. So what, why would I load up the pressure where I live? Like in my, in my immediate sanctuary, uh, atmosphere, right? So number three, and again, make sure I'm going to be going back and forth between each one. And then um, these are the leggings. You guys already know I'm obsessed with these. They're always on sale. There's, um, if you check out my TikTok store, there's a, an abundance of colors. You can um, check these out, click these in the cart. But number three is not snacking. And this one is, is why I think I've been having a hard time losing my last five to seven that I've really been wanting to lose. So that's like a big a big goal of mine and it's eating in between when my body should really be digesting. So when you have your first meal, try not to eat one thing, like not even a bite, not, not a couple no, don't grab a couple of grapes here. And then 30 minutes go by and then grab a couple of nuts here. And then 20 minutes go by and you grab a, grab three chips. That whole time you probably ate up 400 calories over the course of four hours and you didn't even realize it. And it's like all these calories that we think don't count because we only took a couple bites. So like if you um, eat lunch at 12, don't have another bite of anything. It, like you end, end eating your lunch at 12, like 1230. Don't have another bite of anything until 430. 
So ending the snacking, giving your body time to digest you, I guarantee you're going to lose a ton of weight. Um, also too, um, with that, like if you're at work or things like that, like just, just figure it out to where you like, don't bring snacks to work. Okay. Like only eat before you arrive. And then on your lunch break, don't sit at the desk and like, just load up on the snacks, you know, in your drawer. So let it be easy. You're, I, I guarantee you, I promise you the pounds will start to drop off because you won't even be thinking about it. And another thing you can do in between that is drink a lot of water, or you can get like a nice, like sparkling water. Um, or, um, you could even do, if you drink coffee, you could drink black coffee. You can, um, I, I, I don't do nothing. Like I'm not about the diet soda life at all, but if that's what you're into, you could even have a couple sips of diet soda here and there. But again, that's, if there's calories in it, then you're kind of like, um, there's kind of no purpose there either. So that's another thing, but avoid snacking, um, in between a four hour window from the last time you ate to the next time you ate. So that's another easy way you can do it. So again, going back to number one, this is, um, waist training, I'm telling you, it's, it's a real thing. And I was like, why, why does it work? Right? Like you, you would think, okay, like, is it just a gimmick? Is this another scammy, scammy product? I've been doing waist training for years and I'm actually going to even up my waist training game. Cause I usually will wear it like a couple times a week, maybe like three to four times a week and keep it on for an hour, but I'm going to try to do it every day for an hour. And so I'm putting it on my, on my calendar to just put it on. And, um, that's another thing it, because it's really tight it makes you feel like you're not hungry because it's like, it's just so tight. So wear, wear a waist trainer for at least an hour a day. This is the one I have. You can click it in the cart. Also, if you're watching it on YouTube, you can click down below and check it out in the description. TikTok shop is amazing. It's just as good as Amazon. Um, I've been, you guys have been seeing me post for over a month now about TikTok products. It's the same stuff on Amazon, but the difference is that they have hot, like it's called hot deals. So it's the same stuff for a third of the price and it's the same quality. So why not? Um, I'm heading to Planet Fitness now. Get it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, my name is Sienna. So, okay. So this is what I'm going to, I'm going to put on. So, um, this is a waist trainer that I always use. I was using the sweet sweat one for years. This one has gotten, this replaced it. And I am going to still wear the, the sweet wet, the sweet sweat one in the sauna which was my number four. If you want to lose weight fast with a lot of ease and flow, get, get a gym membership right now that has a sauna or buy a sauna. If you have the funds for that. Um, I think it was, who was it? Uh, Erica Badu, I think. Yeah. Erica Badu. She literally has a red light sauna and she's 50 and she looks amazing. Literally looks amazing. Um, and it's because your body just is releasing toxins. So when your body's releasing toxins, your body has more time to, to do other functions, right? Like cellular repair, you know, do like, um, work on the building blocks of your body. It, it will heal, heal your skin. If you have any like issues, like health issues, it has time to do, to focus on that instead of, um, you know, focusing on trying to fight toxins. Right. So the sauna is, I go to the sauna minimum three times a week. I've been going for years and people always think I look seven, seven to 10 years younger than my age all the time. And I really think that, I think there's several reasons, but I think that one of the physical reasons, like one of my, um, my habits is that I've been going to the sauna for so long and my, you know, I just, toxins are just constantly getting, you know, out of my body and I don't care who you're, who you are, where you're from, there's toxins everywhere. So that's number four. So again, this is, this is the waist trainer. If you want to click the cart in and check it out, see if it's something that you're aligned with. Um, but I definitely do waist training and, oh yeah. So when I looked up waist training, I was like, why does waist training even work? Like, what is it? Why? Like, and a doctor, several doctors popped up when I looked this up and there's something with the, 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 they said like some medical term for it, but there's something you really want to pull it tight. There we go. So the way that we're like our cartilage and everything is it's, it's able to be shaped. Okay. It's able to be shaped without any like health. It won't like put you in health jeopardy or anything like that. 
Um, especially if you're not like doing it so tight to where you can't breathe. Like that's just obviously like not wise to do that. I would hope that you would know not to do that. But see how I'm able to, first of all, I'm able to push this one in and like have it really shape me. So when you're sitting like that for an hour, when I take this off, I'm not even kidding. It's still like an imprint right there. It's not pushing on any organs. It, and it's something about the cartilage, like the soft tissue or cartilage that's right there that allows the body to be moldable, moldable and shapeable. Just like how you're able to get it sucked out, you can actually, you know, suck out the fat. Well, you can actually shape the fat too. So that's the beauty of it. So even if you are in a position where you um, are not at a weight that you want to be, well, you can do waist training to at least give the illusion that you maybe lost weight just by reshaping the way that the fat is sitting on your body. So it's a very real thing. Um, and I want to even dig in more to like the science behind it and like maybe even have some photos. Um, like, frankly, I'm not sure what that is. So also to make sure to follow as you guys are coming in, make sure to follow. So number five is, oh gosh, there's so many, but number five with ease and flow is, to me, this is, I wouldn't even, I'm actually taking it. I just want to see if what this does. I'm going to take out walking out of physical fitness because I almost feel like because we bunched walking into physical fitness, like if you don't feel like working out, walking is even off the table, right? So say if you're like, I don't feel like doing nothing today. I don't care. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, let me know. Do a thumbs up if you guys can hear me. So even if you are, let me make sure that this is, okay. So even if you are like, you know, you're just having one of those days where you're like, I just really don't want to work out. I just don't. Our elders, like when you see like the old people walking around um, the city and, you know, maybe they're walking really early in the morning or in the evening time and they're just dressed in kind of like comfortable clothes, like not really fitness clothes, but like just like some comfortable like slacks. Like sometimes they have those Jesus sandals on and they're just enjoying a nice evening, like a nice 50 minute, a nice hour and a half walk with like their spouse or with their kids or with the dog. To me, that's like being human, right? Like it's just, it's part of breathing. It's part of blinking. It's part of sleeping. It's just, I think that we've now put fit, like physical fitness along with walking. And then when it's like, oh man, I don't feel like working out today. We even cut out walking. And I, so separate the two and you want to make sure to just walk as much as you can. Um, even with me, I work from home and I've been like, if there's something that I'm doing, I'll either walk around my apartment or I'll walk back and forth. I'm actually going to get one of those thin treadmills and I'm going to like where it can just slide right into your bed. It's super thin. I'm going to get one of those and just walk. Like you can read your emails and walk. You can talk on the phone and walk. Um, even if you can't necessarily go outside, you don't feel safe, which, you know, I hope that you do. You can walk back and forth, walk back and forth in your, um, you know, walk from the kitchen to the living room, like just walking 10 minutes every hour. That's what an hour and a half of walking a day. Even if you're at work, just get up and stand up, you know, walk, walk around the office, whatever you have to do. So just walking is going to make you lose a lot of weight really fast without a lot of effort. Um, number six is just obviously, you know, make sure to tap in. I just, I just put this on. Oh, and another thing I love about this, I can pull it low. Like if you have like the, that little pooch that most women have that are just, we're always trying to like make sure that is disappear or is not poking out as much. Um, that this is really good for that. But number six is obviously drinking a lot of water that goes without being said, you feel fuller longer, you're flushing out toxins. Um, you are a lot of times our body's just dehydrated. It's not really hungry. So sometimes we mix up the two. So number six is drinking a lot of water. That's, you know, with ease and flow. Number seven, intermittent fasting. I also too, like if you have been following me for a while, tap in with my how to lose belly fat ebook. I live by that thing. Like it is super, you can literally read it in an hour. Uh, maybe one day I'll get it on audible. You could listen to it in an hour, but you could read it in an hour. My sister literally got it. She was like, it took me an hour to read. It was great. Get it. Look at the reviews and check it out. Like that's what I live by. I have all the stuff that I just listed in there, plus a lot more information. 
that's just, it, it creates a lifestyle. It creates a ceremony. It creates rituals. Like not like, oh, my annoying to-do list. It just, you become like this embodiment. Like uh, um, I have a YouTube page. It's called Embody Pursuit. It's called Sianna Singh Embody Pursuit. And so my biggest thing is you want to be in pursuit of your next embodiment, right? Like you want to become that thing. You want to become fitness. You want to become your optimal health. You want to become your next level, whatever, in whatever area of your life that you're working on. So it's an embodiment. It's not just a to-do list. It's not just a little small, meaningless goal. It's not just like on your, I don't know, on your reminders, on your phone. It's an embodiment. So that's why I've, um, it's called, my whole page is all about Embody Pursuit. So definitely check that out. But again, um, I wouldn't necessarily, might be kind of hard to drink the water with the waist trainer on. So, you know, you want to be careful with that. If you do decide to get this waist trainer, um, it's, it'll get you tight. And again, this is like, you could see it's really, oh, and that's what I love too. Like there was <laughs> quick little story. Um, literally one of my friends was like, it literally looks like you got your butt done, like your, like your body done right there. Because like, you know how like a lot of girls, when they get their, their body done, like it's very chiseled right here. It's very sculpted. And there was, a, I want to get back to that, but there was a time I was wearing this, um, these every single day and it was looking like super chiseled and they're like, did you get your body done? And I was like, no. <laughs> um, so that these work, like it just, it re, you know, comp uh, it's yeah. Body recomposition with, with the waist training. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate the compliment. So again, these, all of these are on the, um, all of these videos are on the replay. But yeah, when you, um, if you're on TikTok, go to the link in my bio. If you're on YouTube, click the link in the description and get my How to Lose Belly Fat ebook guide. It's on discount right now for the beginning of the year. Also, if you need to get organized, I also do have a hyperlinked calendar that I'm obsessed with. It has changed my life. So definitely check that out as well, too, if you want to click um, in the description box and just check that out, see if you're aligned with it. But okay, so number eight, number eight thing that you need to do to lose weight with ease and with flow is the way that you, the order that you eat your food. Now this does get a little tricky. Do I have any more water in this? Yeah, I do. I'm drinking um, my water actually right now. So really quick side note, I guess I do have a Peloton in my room. That's how serious I am about wanting to hit my goals. Like it was like out, like on the balcony and I was just like, it's just going to like rust up out there. So I need to have it right, right here. So a, it reminds me that I need to move my body. Some days, like I don't even necessarily get on the Peloton, but just seeing it, I'm like, okay, what, what physical fitness I need to move my body today. So I, I have to incorporate it. What do I need to do? Um, I'll even put like on my hyperlinked calendar, I'll type it. I'll, you can type and talk into it, which is dope. Um, but I'll literally put down physical movement, like say I'll do, like, I don't, I don't necessarily want to go to the gym and hit the weights, but I'll do, um, I'll write down active rest. Like, what am I going to do for active rest today? So that's why, you know, you see the Peloton there. So just a little side note, but again, um, so you, the way, the order that you eat your food. Okay. Also too, both of these are linked in the cart. Um, they'll be linked also on YouTube down below the order that you eat your food. Now there's two ways. There's two methods. I've talked about the first one that I'm going to say a lot, but I just learned this other one. And I think that they both really work. And I even think that technically from a scientific standpoint, I think that the second one I'm going to say is technically the best, but it depends on what your goals are. So number one is you want to eat your protein first. When you eat your protein on your plate first, you feel more satiated. You feel, you feel less hungry because the protein, um, it takes longer to break down in the body. So you just feel like you're starting to get full, more full quicker. So then it makes you eat, if you have a carb on your plate, it makes you eat the carbs um, less. Like, it, you know, maybe you'll leave like maybe three or four bites behind when you usually would have ate the whole thing and probably got seconds, right? But then number two way is do your vegetables, your protein, and then your carb. So the vegetables, it kind of like sets the tone for, for the whole digestive process to happen. So, um, cause a lot of times when you do, I think, I think the reason why on it from a scientific standpoint, I got to do more research on this, but I, and anyone that knows about this, definitely correct me if I'm wrong. But I think that like when you eat protein or 
carbs and then your last thing is a vegetable because it's like oh i just want to like whatever the vegetables there i just need to eat it i think it starts to technically ferment in your body um because it's behind other food that's not necessarily digest digesting that quickly so that's just something to to take into account um so again check these two out um i love these leggings they're super comfortable and they have them in a, a bunch of different colors um so it actually looks like i just have like a um, like a spaghetti strap on. It's kind of cool. So number nine way to lose weight with ease and flow is intermittent fasting. I talk a lot about this in my ebook as well. Pick a time window. Don't eat within that time window. That's it. Or only, I'm sorry, only eat within that time window. Oh my gosh, you guys, I did a 24 hour fast for the first time in my life. Um, maybe I've accidentally not eaten in 24 hours, like if I was traveling or something. But like it was a conscious 24 hours didn't eat and i learned a lot that one day so i think it's going to be something i do every sunday for like 90 days and i want to see that'll be 12 24-hour fasts in 90 days so i'll let you guys know how that went but i did notice i had i was i had a surprising surprisingly i had a lot of energy still so i was happy about that at about the 20 hour mark, my body was really craving anything sweet. Like it, it didn't even care if it was just like a blueberry or a grape or um, like a like a, a lick of honey or something like that. It, it didn't even want necessarily sugar, but cause I've already like released myself from um, my sugar addiction. I really had a bad sugar addiction, but at about hour 20, it was like, I just, need something. But what was weird, I was really feeling into my body and I didn't necessarily, I wasn't hungry really. Like, of course my stomach was growling, but like I had a lot of energy. It was very interesting. It was almost like my body was using the fat that's left on my body to like, to be, you know, it's the energy, but it was like my, because my body is not used to that long of a fast it was like okay we want something and i noticed it was very my body was craving something very specific like nothing else sounded good like not like you know an avocado not like potatoes not pasta nothing sounded good to me except something that was healthy and sweet so what that told me was that it was it was just like going off of the natural cravings that I've trained my body to to want to have because I I still eat sweet things here and there, right? So once I got past that, so after our from twenty from the twentieth hour to the twenty second hour, and again, make sure to I have this waist trainer on. I love it as you can see; it's forming my body right now. And these leggings are both linked. Um, they'll be in the description and in the the cart, but. After from 20, the hour 20 to hour 22, I was just like over the sweetness. And then so from 20, this 22nd hour to the 24th hour, I still had a lot of energy. Um, I think because I knew I was going to break my, like I was coming up on the 24th hour. I was just kind of like, then I was getting hungry. Like my body was like, okay, now will you kind of just give us anything? but I had a lot of energy still. So my mom had a really good point. She was like, what that tells me is that the nutrients that you, you have, that you eat is actually absorbing into your body. Cause I didn't feel lightheaded. I didn't get a, a headache. I didn't. Oh, only thing I had was water. I didn't even have coffee. I don't, well, I don't even really drink. I drink rice mushroom coffee. That's for another video. But, um, I didn't have like no sparkling water. I only had hot water um with cloves in it so just give it like that potency like just something other than like just the water taste and like a little pinch of turmeric that's all i had like throughout the whole day so for the first it was pretty easy getting up to so what i did was i stopped okay um again i want to make sure tiktok will flag if you don't keep talking about items um but yes um this is goes in in alignment with what i'm talking about um with like, you know, losing weight for 2024 or any time that you're watching this video, I'm going to post this on the replay. You can lose weight with these, with ease and flow. If you do all 10 of these together, 
um, you will just drop pounds and like not even realize it. Like I've had so many women do it and they're like, I literally lost eight pounds and like, I don't really know how, but it's because they just implemented these tips, all 10 of them though. Um, and they really stuck to it for five, five weeks minimum, five weeks. That's not that long. Like if, when you look back, does, I mean, we, 2023 just went by in a, in a blink of an eye, you know, five weeks is going to go by in an eyelash length of time. Like, so, um, so yeah, so I, what I did was I started it. So I had my last meal on Saturday night at 6 PM. So from 6 PM and then I woke up at 6 PM the next day, that was 12 hours. So I was full from 6 PM and then I went to bed early at nine. So from six to nine, I didn't eat anything. And then from nine to six, I probably maybe woke up maybe like around five, but from nine to six, from nine to five, nine to six, that was, so boom, 12 hours done. Like that, boom. From 6 a.m. to 12 noon, I do that all, that's my normal fasting routine. So that was, that was a piece of cake. So that was an additional six hours, which went to 18. And when you get to, um, they've done studies where when you get to the 18 mark, you start to tap into your body, getting rid of old, um, bad cells in your body. Like your body that like goes into like, it's the own, our own technology of the body that we're just born with. It goes into that. So at, so, okay. So that's where, so it was 12. Right. And I was like, Ooh, okay. Again, this is, goes along. If, oh, if you had this waist trainer on that, could, that would actually help you get through the fast too, because you're just so tight that like, you're like, I'm not even like, I don't even want to put anything in my body. So this would be a really good thing to have on. Um, so from 12 to 12 PM, so noon to 6 PM, that's when it was the toughest, but I had a lot of energy. So it wasn't tough from that standpoint. And what I did was I was very strategic. So I was like, okay, I know like I had decided the Monday before that I was going to do this on New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve. Yeah. New Year's Eve. So I was already prepared mentally. Um, so on Sundays, I always do Sunday cleaning and organizing. And I just love to like have like a spotless, refreshed, um, house home to start my week. So I had all these things that I wanted to do, like organize some things in the kitchen, completely clean the bathroom, wash up and fold clothes, completely, you know, obviously vacuum. I wanted to put some things in, in like alignment and order that were in some drawers. I want, like, there was like 20 things I wanted to do all things that serve me, not like overly obsessive, but just like, you know, purging. I'm, I'm really big on purging. I've been purging things for four years. That's a whole nother conversation, but, um, also to anyone else, um, for the ones that are left watching, make sure to follow, make sure to subscribe. Also make sure to share this. This is this is going to be this is a really great jump start to losing weight for 2024. So um I was busy. So for that last so from 12 to 6 p.m. I wasn't as obsessed as I think I if, if I I would have been if I wasn't keeping myself busy. Now I strategically was like I don't want to work like cuz I work from home. I was like I don't want to work and do the fat and do a 24 hour fast. Cause I'll have to think, and I don't want to like put pressure on myself. Cause it was my first time doing the 20, 24 hour fast. So I was like, Hey, let me not do too much. So let me just do something where I'm active, but I don't really have to think, you know, when you're organizing, it's like, it, it kind of, it gets like meditative actually, if you're, you know, in, into that. So when I was cleaning, you know, I was listening to my podcast. Um, you know, I had some conversations with, you know, my loved ones, I went back to cleaning something. I went back to purging something. And it was like, okay, each hour was kind of flying by. The very last hour, I was watching the clock. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so hour 23, I was like, <sighs> okay. So then I heated up some water and I made it really piping hot. So it just kind of like was something else for me to focus on. Um, and this is where I messed up. So I went the whole 24 hour. I actually went to 24 hours and 15 minutes. Cause I, then I got so, um, into whatever I was doing. And again, make sure to tap in with this waist trainer and these leggings, they are in the cart. Um, but I, <laughs> I ended up eating jackfruit tacos, which were fire. Oh my God. They were so good. 
They were so good. I ate them so ridiculously fast to where my stomach was just felt crazy afterward. So that was not smart. And I probably should have game planned what I was going to do. So I think what I'm, I'm going to do it again this Sunday and I'm going to break it with um, some celery juice and I'm actually going to keep the pulp, the celery pulp. I'm going to have some celery juice and then wait 20 minutes and then eat a meal. Like I think I needed to prep my body to eat something because I had, I went from not tw eating for 24 hours, only sipping on water to straight up a whole plate of jackfruit tacos. So like I ate it so fast because I was like, oh, and it felt amazing. Going Like I felt like I could taste the flavors more. Like it tasted just so like rich. Every single bite was very rich. It was very, I could taste like each layer of like all the seasonings. It felt like when I was, um, so that was kind of, and I've actually read about that when um, I read about fasting, you can, you start to tap into how amazing food actually really tastes, but we usually just gulf it down so quickly that like, we're not even really too in tune. So that was really dope. So this kind of turned into like talking about fasting, but again, that's in my, this, this and a ton more that I do to keep in shape, how to lose fat. My, my ebook guide is my tried and true ebook guide. So definitely click the link down below, get it. It's on sale or it's on special for the for 2024. People always hit me up and be like, this is a, this is a fantastic ebook guide. It's easy. It's, it's just lifestyle changes and you just implement them. So my very last thing that you need to do in order to lose weight quickly, okay, is, and this is easy, if you just incorporate this once a week, it will massively start to change your body and you'll start to, you'll burn fat even after you're done, which is lifting weights. So I do weight training at minimum twice a week. You don't really need more than that unless you're really trying to like get to like this crazy level or like you're competing. That's a different story. But I, I've committed to twice a week and I, um, I'm active every day when I walk, you know, I walk, I do kickboxing once a week. So you don't need to do all that. If you walked every day, but then did one week, one day a week of, of really focused 40 minute weight training because your body, um, it's, it, Something about, and I got to learn the science behind this. I got trained by a master trainer. And so he taught me all these things, but the science part, I'd have to like do some digging on my own. But when you lift muscles or when you lift weights, when you're working out those muscles, your body still is burning energy after you're done. Like I, maybe it's like, because the muscles are still doing their thing after you're done. Um, but again, I need to, I need to read like all like the scientific terms behind that, but that is a fact. You, your body still is burning calories after you're done lifting weights. So one good weight training session, and then you're ready to go. Like you're incorporated with all the other stuff I just said, incorporated with all the other stuff in my ebook guide. If you, if you decide to get it, if you're on TikTok, you can definitely click the link in my um, bio as well. Um, I'm telling you, you will lose the weight. So that's, those are the 10 things. Those are the 10 simple things. Of course, there's a 10 other things you can do to lose weight, but those are easy, manageable, actionable within your control things that you can do to lose the weight. I don't care if you have a family. I don't care if you have kids. These are all things that you can do. Do, do not start off with hearing this list and then you immediately want to start doing an excuse for every single one. Don't do that in 2024. Don't do it in 2025. Don't do it in 2026 or any other time in, in year 3000. The excuses are keeping you stuck. Make it easy for yourself. Implement these things, the 10 things. If you want to, again, if you came in on um, item number six, and because this is live right now on TikTok, if you came in at um, number six, I'm going to repost this live over on TikTok um, when I'm done. So does anyone have any questions before I leave? Also, if anyone has any questions, definitely leave them down below in the comments. I read every single comment. Make sure to like the video and make sure to subscribe because um, I'm, I'm, I'm going hard this year with my, my YouTube and my TikTok. So I love building community. I love relating with you guys and tapping in. So again, make sure to tap in with these. I also have other really dope things on my, the full TikTok, uh, the full TikTok showcase. 
if you check out my showcase, there's a ton of just hot deals. I'm like, kind of like become my new obsession. I'm like, Ooh, what's on a hot deal today? It's like stuff that would be like a hundred dollars. It's like 20 bucks or something that's usually $28. It's like seven bucks. And it's the same stuff on, I, I, I haven't seen prices like that on Amazon. So, um, I don't have Twitter. I don't, I have Instagram. You can check, you can find, if you click the link in my bio or in the description, if you're on YouTube, all my links to all the other places you can tap in with me are on there. So I have Instagram, I have threads, I have this, uh, of course this TikTok, and I have YouTube. So subscribe to me over on YouTube as well. My YouTube is also linked. So you can just tap the little YouTube icon and it'll take you right over to my YouTube. And there's a, t like, if you're like, dang, I want to catch more of these. I do a ton of these about health, fitness, mindfulness, and spirit spirituality and beauty. So, cause they all, they're all connected to each other. So we dive deep and there is some things that um, men can even dive, you know, learn from. You might even learn just more about women and how we move and the what, reason why, reasons why we do things and why it's important for a woman to, you know, keep the stress low and things like that with using these methods. All right. Well, I'm going to go and hop off. Thank you so much for tapping in. Make sure to get these in the cart or you can go when the live is done, you can go to my showcase, click the little purse, go to the showcase, check out all the other stuff that I have. Um, make sure to send my page to anyone that can benefit and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.